So this story is about um, when I was an undergraduate student at the University of Georgia and had invited some of my friends from college to visit our home in Madisonville. Um, and uh, some strange incident occurred on this trip, which I'll get to as the story unfolds. Um, but here goes. On this particular occasion, I invited several of my friends from college to visit our home in Madisonville. Our plan was to go on a squirrel hunt. And with my sister away at college, we had an extra bedroom and a pull-out sofa for extra beds. My mother was always in her element on such occasions. She was a wonderful cook and especially enjoyed having a group of active and hungry young people around to delight in her cuisine. We rolled in on an October Friday afternoon and after a lively conversation, we went to bed and were up early for a squirrel hunt in the knobs. We had great success and brought back plenty of squirrels which mom cooked up for lunch. I took the group to Madisonville that afternoon to see the sights and we drove up to Teleco Plains and up the Teleco River Road, one of the most spectacular drives anywhere. The next day, Sunday, after a big breakfast of country ham, eggs, grits, and biscuits, we hiked around the farm and worked up an appetite for lunch. Mom outdid herself for our send-off meal, even making her signature sweet potato souffle, after which we loaded in my car and started back to Athens. Somewhere about the state line or a little after, our digestive systems, in an attempt to process the victuals my mother had fed us, began to produce a very sulfurous gas. There were three in the back and two in the front of the car, so with the windows rolled up on this cool fall day, each discharge brought out a series of howls and rapid lowering of all four windows. This pattern continued after we crossed into Georgia, and by the time we reached the small town of Jasper, county seat of Pickens County, the frequency of occurrence was peaking. As we rounded the courthouse square, a particularly noxious release occurred. The windows went down and the howls resonated on the quiet Sunday afternoon. As we left town, I looked in my rearview mirror and noticed a police car was following. Soon the flashing light went on, so I pulled off the road the first chance I got. The policeman, who was every bit the stereotypical southern cop, approached the driver's side. My friends were hunkered down when he asked for license and registration. As he handed them back, he said, Why are you boys making so much noise back there in that little town? In a moment of desperation, I said, Somebody told a joke. To which he said, Well, we don't think too much of folks disturbing the peace in our town on Sunday to which I answered that we were sorry and wouldn't do it again. By this time, my passengers are having all they could do to keep from laughing, and to this day, I have never heard or read of anyone getting stopped by the police for farting. <laughs>